Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. This is the 20 sessions of the catalog real time training. In this training, we will talk about that uh, notification and then event. From the event, how can we send the notification and how we can directly attach notification to the workflow. Some of the person ping me and comments me that they want to know about that event and the notification. So we did not cover that as part of uh, my previous session. So I'm going to cover this part today. So uh, event and notification is used to generate the email. So let's see how we can use those stuffs. So this is my catalog item called service no group membership. We discussed a lot of time uh, in our previous video. So if we try it, uh, it have a workflow, main workflow called group manager, group uh, members manager. And it will, uh, based on your selection, it will call two workflow. One is the two sub workflow. So this is my parent um, uh, work, I mean parent workflow, which have a switch condition based on the switch. It will call two workflow. One is the uh, group uh, members manager and another is the group members manager remove option. So two uh, sub workflow, one is the add and another is the uh, remove part. So today we'll talk about uh, um, first notification uh, from here and then we'll talk about further. So first let me try from this portal and if you see here, I am going to select this um, requested for call Abraham Lincoln and once we select the Abraham Lincoln, he is part of the, uh, if I select the remove group and he is part of two groups. So uh, Alabama dispatch and then US president. So I mean these two groups. Once we will raise the request for this one, it will simply uh, generate one um, um, RITM and this RITM will call this main workflow. It will be generate the manager work manager approval. Once manager approval is approved, um, so it will be simply uh, go back to the workflow for the remove. And in this case, it will be remove that. After that, we are going to send a notification. And then I'll show you that how this notification or how we can do that notification part. So as I mentioned, we have two options to send the notification. We'll discuss this point today. So let me go back to the modify this workflow. This is the sub workflow. Um, so before I modify this workflow, I just want to show that how this flow is right now working. So if I order this one, let's say new hire and then US president, this one and simply order now, it will be uh, generate a RITM. So simply open that RIT, I'll simply open that RITM. So if I copy this request number and search here the request number and then open the RITM and this is the RITM. And definitely, as I mentioned that initially, if I click the show, uh, uh, show workflow, you will be able to see the workflow that first it called that group members manager and it is going for one approval and one catalog task. So we do have one approval and one catalog task. So I'll simply close this task first. So this task, I'll close that. And uh, once you close that, it will be wait for the approval. So I'll uh, approve that. I just want to show that current flow right now, how it is happening. So it is waiting for approvals. So once we approve that, it will be called that actual, uh, the sub flow. Uh, this is the sub flow. And after that calling the sub flow, you can see right now, if I refresh that, it called the sub off flow and it's removed from him, th from that groups. And after that, uh, the flow is completed. Okay, so this is how the current behavior or current scenario it's right now working. What we'll do, we'll add some notification sent to the user that you are removed from the particular groups. For that, what I'll do, I'll go back to this, um, I mean, uh, workflow and make the changes. So I'll, I'll go back to this workflow and in this workflow, first I'll say that the simpler are first and then I'll go about uh, the complex one. So very first thing is that, we have a options called notification. If you see here, we have a call notification. You can see we have a notification. So under the notification, you have a two options, create an event and another is the notification. What, uh, what I'll do in this notification, we can uh, simply, uh, you know, uh, do that, whatever stuffs we are trying to do that. So here we'll say that send notification. So this is my first uh, steps. And here to whom I should uh, send. 
So right now uh, I can add myself or any particular groups or fields or any particular email or, or groups. But if you want to add some, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, some script, you can write the script and under this answer, you can put that user name to whom you want to send that subject. You can define that um, user, you have group removal, um, something like that uh, you can um, you can type that and then body we can add the anything here we can add the body and then we can keep adding some fields call we can put that uh, number if we want we can put the number we can put the uh, dollar variables something like that um, and then we can set any variables value so i'll show you that so i'll just submit this one and then this notification after removing that will add this one and then we'll go back to this one okay so this is how we connected right now now we'll make couple of changes first we'll set the uh, requested for uh, name so to whom we are sending here we you can see that it is mentioning the set variables and set to a comma separated list of user or the groups CSID that you want to send the email. So basically to whom we want to send that We want to send the requested for so what we'll do I'll go back to this item and under this item I'll configure item And here uh, we will say that uh, we have a we'll, I'll add that uh, name here also Under this name, uh, you can see all these variables name. So we'll copy this requested by. So here, what I'll do, I'll go to this workflow and then here I'll type that current dot variables dot this variable. So I want to send that requested by. And then uh, here we are saying the group uh, remove from uh, yourself. And then here I will say the groups, uh, you know, uh, variables couple of variables call this will return me the current or the RITM number and then if I want to uh, say that action uh, taken something like that um, here we'll say that uh, action taken and then we can put the dollar variables and then action so add or remove it will be shown now uh, we can do one thing for removal we can uh, put that variables dot uh, this variables name remove group name why we add the actions i just want to see that this variables value is actually getting populated or not and then this variable value getting populated or not all right so these things are done so this is my subject uh, this is my subject line this is my uh, message if you want to put any any dynamic value, you can put the dollar here and then you can put that variable start field name or you can directly use the state or number. So we can put that uh, star uh, number. Okay, so this is how we can raise the request. So let's uh, try to raise one more time and see what is happening. If we refresh and again, if we select that Abraham Lincoln action equal to remove and then here uh, we have only one group called Alabama dispatcher and we'll select new hire and then order now after completing that if we click the show workflow and if i see that remove one it go and pass the notification phase and let's see that how the emails is generating so if i uh, go back to the emails tab and email log and if i see here now you can see this is the one um, uh, message that uh, this is the mail you get that group removed from yourself by this ritm this notification we have uh, generated and that's the reason that event is that workflow and the notification is empty because this is generated from the uh, workflow 
and then if we click that if we click the preview email you can see that uh, the group removed uh, from your cell this is the RITM number action taken remove group 2 user and then this is the group name Alba dispatch so this way you can generate a notification from the um, uh, you know uh, workflow there is a one way and uh, uh, this is the one way another way is that you can generate the event from the event you can generate the notification to set the dynamically some of the file for the complex one let's say uh, you want to make more complex logics and then from that you want to add the notification script uh, you want to add header footer all those stuffs that that we don't have any options right so here we can't use the template we can can't use that email layout all those stuffs we can't use that for the details you can uh, generate the notification from this uh, uh, event and then that event will be triggered and then from that we it will be generated the notification let's try that so what i'll do uh, i will remove this part and then first thing first i have to generate a event so i'll go back here and then here i'll type the event registry under the event registry i'm going to create a event first so event is nothing but a uh, trigger point once it will be triggered you can define that what needs to be done so we say that um, group dot remove and then table name we have to define for which table it should be generated so i will say screq item here fire by i will say the workflow this is a uh, uh, optional field i'll copy this name and paste that All right. So this event is done. Uh, this event creation is done. If we go back to the workflow, we have a create event. We have to be drag that activity. Under this activity, we'll say that, uh, let's say we'll uh, um, pass that generate event. And here we need to define the event name. I'll select this simply my event and then each event have a two parameter when the event generated it have a two parameter so i will say uh, uh, i'll just submit that and you can do a lot of stuff dynamically from this event also so i will um, select this one event and then here this one now the it will be generated through the event now what i'll do in this advanced part we have a requested by this port right so i'll copy this one and what I'll do under this event, I will pass this uh, this one. So I will I will return that current log. I mean the first parameter I will pass that current dot variables dot request uh, requested by, and simply update. So what will be happens to that? So it will be generate a, a event, and the event will be triggered. And from this event, it will have two parameters. The first parameter will have the requested by and then second parameter i can say that uh, some variables name or whatever i i want to pass but it's optional you can pass or not okay so this is the things it will generate an event now what i'll do i have to create a notification and in this case i'll say the notification and i'll show you that what is the difference uh, definitely after this all stops so i will create a uh, notification called group remove and select the table equal to SCREQ item. Here we have an option called sent when we have to change that event is fired. And here we have to select that the event name that we have uh, created. Our event name is the group remove. We'll select that. So whenever this group remove event will be triggered, this notification will be triggered. Under this who will receive, you can select some specific user or the groups but I don't have any options to a script right now for that what I'll do what I actually already did that I am passing these current variables dot requested by as a parameter one so whoever is the parameter one they should get the emails for that what I'll do I'll just save that and this after saving this that option will be came up once I save that you have a options call uh, event param1 contains recipient so if you check that whoever will be event param1 they will be the recipient person i check that under this what will contents you have a um, options here we have a subject 
we have a body what i'll do i'll simply go back to that um, the previous one the notification that we have created and simply part and then here i'll paste that but there will be some difference i will definitely show you that so i will uh, copy this one too as a body and here i'll say that not, uh, uh, notification something like that extra to identify the difference between that one and this one now uh, after that i'll just simply save that here we'll select the requested for and abraham lincoln and action equal to remove now if we, now if we select the remove group there is no group available so let me add some of the group to the user so i'll go back to the cc user group or cc user table select this user remove and here we will select that group name called um, Alabama dispatcher new hair order so catalog task is closed approval part is done um, if I click the show workflow it's now generate the event and complete that now what i'll do if i go back to the event log under this event log you can see first the event is generated or not so our case the event name was group remove so i'll search the group dot remove so it's triggered right now and it's have a param1 and param2 param1 is nothing but the uh, sys id of that user now if i go back to that uh, email log so basically previously it was not generated the event logs because it is directly triggered from the workflow now it's generate the event from the event it is generating the notification now if you see here this is the mail which is recently generated called required notification and if i open the last one so that was the previous one so let's first see what is our case so group remove notification event is generated and from that group remove notification is triggered if we preview that so this is the notification and it's have a group remove from yourself RITM number everything is as expected now if I open uh, the earlier one it was generated from the directly workflow and doesn't have any specific special notification and if I preview that there is small change small differences or when you need that you need to be identified that you can trigger from directly on the notification on the workflow or you need to be generate the event i will show you that so if you see closely under this notification you have the subscribe notification preference but this one doesn't have because this is triggered from directly from the workflow so if this one have a, this unsubscribe notification and everything right why because if you generate directly um, from this workflow you can't set the layout and then template okay so if i go back to the notification notification have a options to uh, attach that email template this option is does not available to in your normal notification and even notification have a lot of other features like you can run the mail script uh, you can uh, you know include attachment um, you know that you can uh, omit the watermark you can set the push message these are the options are available into the notification for the complex notification you should definitely and then you have a header footer set you have options to set the header and footer through the email layout so you have a complete control on your notification but that doesn't have the complete control if you triggering from the workflow notification so that's it for today uh, thank you very much have a great day so in our next session we'll talk about that uh, rollback and translate so these are the requests we got and from the another user so i'll cover this in our next sessions translate and the rollback so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day